The next thing I want to do is look at some of the controversies with the minimum wage. So again, we're looking at price of labor or wages. And we'll put the quantity of labor down here. So the quantity supply versus the quantity that firms are actually going to hire. And just for the sake of illustration, we'll just use a regular supply and demand graph. So that our equilibrium wage would be here. And our equilibrium quantity of workers hired would be here. Now, when the government mandates a minimum wage, what it actually does is put in a price floor. Remember that a price floor is a mandated minimum. such that it is illegal for a firm to pay lower than the mandated minimum. Now, if you remember the analysis of floors and ceilings, to be effective, a floor has to be above equilibrium and a ceiling would have to be below. Going back to the econ chair, please review that before the exam. Google on it if you lost track of it. The floor is high, the ceiling is low, otherwise they mean nothing. So, if the minimum wage is below the equilibrium, let's do this as number one, then that says that the floor is too low. That means that at this price, the demand for labor would be a lot higher than what workers are actually willing to supply in the market. This minimum wage, this minimum wage would have zero effect whatsoever on what happens in this particular labor market. If it's actually a binding price floor or one that is an effective price floor in the market, then to actually have an impact, it would have to be higher than equilibrium. So we'll just call this price floor or minimum wage 2. Now, if that is the mandated wage, then what's going to happen is that the demand is lower than supply because it is closer to this axis, how much labor is actually going to be bought and sold in this market with this minimum wage? Less. The biggest argument against the minimum wage is that when it is effective, it causes unemployment. That's the first potential problem with a minimum wage. If it is above the average wage in a particular area or a particular industry for a type of worker that's being employed, if it's effective, then you're going to have some workers put out of a job. That's one potential problem. So if we want to look at negatives, Negatives, number one, causes unemployment. Number two, if businesses do not have the flexibility to employ fewer workers, if, for example, they're dealing with a more vertical demand curve for labor, and they can't pay the workers, and they have to have workers to stay in business, they're going to go out of business. So what's going to happen is you have fewer firms, a lesser number of firms, which also means you are having less competition. Fewer firms, less
there's competition in product markets, and that's not necessarily a good thing for the consumer. So those are going to be two big potential negatives if it is an effective price war. So with this being a pretty big negative side, then why does the government do it and why are some people big fans of the minimum wage?